Assalamu alaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Anwash and we are back with another San Martin initial review. So I've got this um chronograph watch, right? So they have recently released a very very nice chronograph watch on AliExpress and I you know what I can't I, when I saw it I was like oh my god that that looks absolutely gorgeous but it has a few different things that I don't really like to be completely honest but when I received it I was like mm, okay I, I could forgive that right so yeah let's see what's inside and let's cue the intro guys so welcome back so we have the San Martin new box right so we have this uh, bezel ish thing here with the San Martin's hexagon logo with this um, case back ish looking thing yeah it is basically a, a Rolex looking thing and we have this San Martin logo on this side right so basically they throw every logo every San Martin logo on this particular box this logo is normally on the buckle of a strap and this one is normally on the dial of his of, of the watch man yeah yeah still nice box but a bit too big in my opinion right oh okay so before we do that let's do a quick wristwatch check today i am wearing my san martin sn004 d black bay homage i just love this thing and of course i have a full video review and a comparison video review of this watch versus the real deal which is the to the black bay blue black bay 58 blue right yeah do check that one out so let's let's take off yep this is the San Martin SN00. Okay, now I forgot the. Come on, what is it? SN0052GJS. Don't ask me what is G, what is JS. I just, <laughs> I just know. I just took it off. <laughs> I just read that one from the AliExpress sales website, right? So we have this nice foam thingy here. You know what? Let's just take it off and see what is inside so we've got the usual stuff you've got this circular uh, manual instruction circular warranty card with a two years warranty and i've took off yep two links out of here with they have given me an extra spring bath there and we have your usual spring bar remo removing tool and also a screwdriver with that san martin or san martin dog deck so right so somebody Ask me why do you keep saying San Martin? You know what? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe because Jody says it, so I say it. So yeah, that's it. Don't be mad at me, guys. So sorry about that, right? So the price for this thing is uh, they are selling for about three hundred and sixteen US dollars. On of course, on during the sales during the Ali AliExpress sale, this thing is still newly released, so they don't really have any. I think they do have a bit of discount, but of course, we are looking into another sales upcoming soon from the. 25th up and 25th to 29th of november so i have no idea how much they are going to be stay on sale for but yeah still of course i will leave you guys a, an affiliate affiliate link together with a discount code or the actual price size price price sales <laughs> the sales price in the video description below right so let's talk about 316 dollars for site so what do you get for your money right so let's just fire up this okay so sorry about that so this crystal thingy right so and let's check out the dimensions first the dimension they say that the dimension is 40 millimeters let's see if is if is that correct or not yep so mm, i've got about 41 yep 40 millimeters maybe the case is 40 millimeters you know what let's just yeah, let's just do that yeah case is 40 millimeters but when you include the bezel that is 41 guys so you're looking at 41 millimeters in diameter and a thickness at about 14.3 quite a chunky watch yeah, let's just call it 14 point yeah 14.3 and a look to look of about 49.4 yeah that is quite a huge watch right so 49.4 um yeah of course the luck width is 20 millimeters and we have a crown size of about seven millimeters so yeah that is make it easier for you to wind the movement which is this uh seagull 90 st 1901 and yeah that's about it guys so yep uh the, for the dimension right so size for my 6.75 inches oh i'm so sorry i've hit the camera 
and I've took out three uh, sorry two links from this one and let's see how much it weighs uh, yep 151 grams so just the maximum I, that I would go and yep I, I normally for watches with the bracelet I don't I'm not gonna be putting it on if it is over 150 grams so let's see if it has any sapphire crystal of course it does so it has sapphire crystal so sorry about that yep quite a nice spec right so but still if you consider that you could get a a, a copy of the um 1963 or oh, sorry this the seagull 1963 uh, watch that will cost you about 150 to 200 bucks this is i think this costs quite a lot more right because it is homaging it is mimicking or copying the look of a to the black bay chronograph right so i will put a picture here so they come in two different colors this um i would not say white because this is actually a very very light silver so this comes in this very uh, light silver or they call it uh, panda and they call it and they have another version which is in black so they call it reverse panda right so even the black bear also has the same exact colorway and of course the difference between the black bay and this one is of, it, it, of course other than the logo the actual black bay has a date wheel here and the st19 movement does not have that is why this watch does have a date window right so it features a the same design to register or to register on the on this on this uh, watch so on the on this st90 movement we have a uh, running second hands here and we have a 30 minutes counter on the three o'clock but on the two the black bay chronograph they only have oh sorry they have again 60 minutes counter here and the um and the minute counter is up to 45 minutes so this one is 30 minutes so that is a bit of a difference and i think on the tudor as well they have this screw down pushes here on the three o'clock sorry on the two o'clock and another screw down pushes on the four o'clock and but i'm not really sure if the tudor has a uh screw down crown uh, i would you know I, I will i will check later on during the full review right so but this one has no uh, screw down crown which is okay because you have to wind this every single day to get them to maximize the power reserve right so of course ceramic bezel insert with this uh, tachymeter which i would never ever use <laughs> all right so and uh, of course on the dial we have like i mentioned it's now very very beautiful um silver or very very light gray light silver colorway with those um, beautifully printed uh, minute track or what maybe a multi millisecond <laughs> so minute track and with that applied indices which mimics the actual send oh sorry to the chronograph and and yes there's those um, two uh, registers is printed in i think that one is not actually white it is actually uh gray gray printing and the hands is in polish which makes it look a bit you know sometimes it does you can't really see it but yeah because it's not printed whatsoever so it's just disappears so maybe there is the same exact problem if you have the real black bay chronograph i'm not really sure because i haven't handled one of those and we have that iconic um to the snowflake hands with this uh, pencil hand so snowflake our hands with this uh, pencil hand, minute pencil hand sorry no pencil minute hands but this pencil minute hands it doesn't really you know it, it it's not really I, I i just wish it could be a little bit maybe one or two minutes longer so that it would touch the uh, minute tracks but yeah that is just me and of course we have that san martin uh, san martin hexagon logo there and yeah you know what let's just run the chronograph when oh okay so yeah nice click there the you, see, you can see that the uh, chronograph hands we have this uh, red tip here i think the to the black bear chronograph also has the same exact thing and of course when we push it it stops and when we push the four o'clock four o'clock pushes it will boom snap back very very nice right so you can see that the hour uh, sorry the chronograph hands returns just nice in the center i wish it could be a little bit maybe 0 0.05 millimeters to the to the left so that it would be <laughs> that in the center but yeah still you can't really you know you can't really complain because yeah this is a a three hundred dollars watch anyway right so let's screw down back the crown sorry the, the pushes here and let's check out the manual crown right so the crown 
how, how big was it <laughs> right so how big was it just now that is about oop, i think it was seven millimeters yep seven millimeters right the crown is seven millimeters but still it is quite short so the the, the biggest criticism that i have with the seagull 1963 is that the pushers the sorry the crown is a bit too small because when i wind it my thumb stuck to this this particular this uh, the push on top so that is why i don't really like to wind that particular watch and yeah the and the size of the crown doesn't really help this one also suffers with the same problem but it is still a lot easier to turn compared to the seagull 1963 right so that is just my opinion maybe because i my thumbs are a bit too big right so yeah it is what it is right so let's talk about the case so brush finishing on the top uh, beveling on this lux here beautifully done beautifully done here i think this one has a circular brushing pattern and on the side we have a uh, horizontal posh sorry brushing and the one weird thing that i can tell you that tend to tell you guys is that this um, brushing is a little bit more coarse compared to the one on the lux here you can see that you can't really see any brushing on top here right so but of course it is still a brush finishing but the diff the, the finishing on here and here is a little bit different this is a lot, lot more coarse i have no idea why they don't really they don't really do the same exact finishing but yeah still it is not that bad but yeah still it is something to you know to that you can feel and see right so the end lux sorry the end links you can see that it is i think they're using the um a common end links here where you can see that it is not really sitting flush to the um to the uh, lug design here and of course we have this little bit of sharp edges here but of course when you are using it on the wrist you will you will not feel it right so again not that big of an issue so bracelet is uh, an old style bracelet with a polished side here with a uh, with a screwed links very very nice and we have this beautifully done san martin uh, hexagon logo at the at the class and this class is i just i just love this class right so again nicely milled swing arm with a so this one features a four micro adjust and like i mentioned just now i took just two uh, links out of this one this bracelet one from here and one from here and at the case back we have a sterile case back case back mm which for me maybe if they wanted to do something different they should have used a uh, a uh, display case back so that we people can see the movement but yeah still it is what it is right 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 so then the loom let's check out the loom before i completely forgot right so let's charge this thing and take it to one and see how it looks like boom yep definitely awesome loom from san martin you can't really go wrong of course this is a not a die forge so you're not going to have anything any loom on the bezel insert on that ceramic bezel insert and yeah this is using a c3 super luminova and let's put it on the wrist so let's take off my san martin san martin sn0008 and put it on the wrist right 151 grams guys so yeah do you know what the the 49 millimeters or was it 48.5 yeah 49 millimeters luck luck to luck 151 grams and the height of 14.3 does feel a bit heavy and of course having a panda white dial you know what you know makes it a lot a lot <laughs> looks a lot bigger and it is a heavy watch and the watch head itself is very very heavy so what i did was when i used this on the bracelet i was like mm, it's not really that comfortable because of the watch head itself is quite heavy and uh i took it from off the bracelet and i put it on another strap and it wears beautifully in my opinion right so there you have it guys so this is my initial review of this um awesome to the black bay sorry to the black bay chronograph for homage watch which i think is a great value if you can handle the hand winding you can handle the st90901 st1901 movement and you can you know you are not really oh, you're 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 you are okay with homage watches otherwise uh, some people say you know what just save up and buy the real deal but still five thousand dollars for the real thing is quite a lot of money at least for me so if you guys you know what if you guys have the money you know what let's just go for the real thing but still that watch is going to be quite a lot bigger 
I think it is almost similar to this one. So you know what? You know what? If you guys, if you guys do live in Malaysia and you want to borrow me one of your to the Black Bay chronograph, so please do tell me in the comment section below so that I could handle it and compare it to this um, San Martin. Uh, panda chronograph right so there you have it guys this is my initial review so if you guys wanted to get this during the aliexpress uh, black friday sale so yeah, i will of course leave a link down below together with the actual price during the sales and if you guys wanted to ask me anything before i go for the full review please do let me know in the comment section below and if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye